Hey YouTube, as I said. Okay, so I'm going to get into this video and I made one previous, but I'm not going to use that one because I'm going to use this information instead because it's more pertinent to you. So to my uh, subscribers, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you're new to my page, my channel, um, do subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Um, which is Indigenous Niji Descendant, which is what my uh, screen name is on Instagram. Do follow me there. But let me jump into this video now. So I was watching uh, For The To The Drops uh, Part 2. I'm, I, it's so much information and I have so much to do. I can't sit and just watch it like I want to. So I'm just, I, I'm watching about 30, 40 minutes of it, you know, when I have the time, you know, every day. And he's got like four parts, maybe five parts now. I think it's four parts uh, that he's got for the series for the for the for the flat Earth um, series that he you know has now. So, and I was thinking about the other civilizations that Admiral Byrd came into contact with prior to the 1961 treaty for the Antarctica the Antarctic System Treaty uh, that still is in effect today. And it got me to thinking, yes, on this particular pond, the Israelites or the Hebrews or the house of Israel, yes, in this pond alone is the chosen seed of this pond, not the whole plain. Now, I have a few people that are subscribed to my channel. That are probably going to get pissed off with what I just said and what I'm about to go into detail with. But if you're going to get mad at it, then you not you are not as enlightened as you believe you are. Or that you claim to be. So let me get into it. Admiral Byrd came into contact with a civiliz an advanced civilization with high technological advancements. As they said, possibly alien technology. Dodge the hijack of the alien part. They're the alien. But <laughs> uh, anyway, think about it. We have pyramids, structures, ancient structures that was built with technology that was given to us by the creator. Okay? Well, look at these structures, these other pyramidal structures that are similar to the Egyptian style of pyramids over there in that land now known as Egypt, okay? That sits on that Giza Plateau, okay? The Great Pyramids, okay? Well, these pyramids are similar to those of Egypt. So... To build that, you need high technology to do that. You got to be highly advanced in order to do that. Who gave them that technology, people? Maniji, who gave it to them? The same creator that created us created them. The same creator that created this entire infinite plane of existence, okay? These infinite ponds of existence, okay? He gave us, our ancient ancestors, the technology. Who you think gave the other civilization the technology? Yahweh, okay? The creator gave it to them as he did us. So, like I said, I'm about to piss some people off. We ain't the only ones, not the only chosen seed. We're the chosen seed of this pond alone. That is it. This pond alone. Not the whole plane. So if you seriously think that this pond alone of Hebrews or chosen seed civilized an infinite plane of existence, you dumb as hell. Point blank dumb as hell. If you truly believe that, Yahweh gave every civilization a select 
group of people to give his his technology his advanced knowledge to okay so I'm gonna need you people that believe the Hebrews are the only ones in this infinite plane of existence with life throughout the entire plane that is just as advanced if not more advanced than this side once was okay I'm going to need you to get out that mindset right now. So, like I said, I just wanted to... I, I had to speak that because that was on my heart. Like, Yahawa is telling me right now, you need to say this. Because y'all are most... And like I said, the ones who are going to disagree with what I just said are the ones who are, are still stuck in a box. You elevated yourself a little bit, but then you put yourself back in a box. I mean, sorry, not sorry. You put yourself back in a box. If you think, if you believe that the Hebrews civilized an entire infinite, infinite, endless plane of existence, that you believe civilized, no. Only one group of people was chosen to civilize each pond of their existence, okay? Of their, the Hebrews of this pond civilized this side, this pond, okay? Our cousins, the other ones that Admiral Byrd came in contact when he got his ass kicked by, were, they are their own group but they're also a chosen group of people okay it's the truth look at it use your intelligence break out of the box dodge your own hijack in that aspect but think about it we are not the only ones the scriptures never said that Yahweh only chose this group as his chosen seed for the entire plane. That is no way in there. Nowhere is it in there at all. So I'm going to need y'all to, you know, look at that. So, once you see that for what it is, then you, you'll you see that he has a, a select group out of each pond to give his, his technology... His advanced knowledge too. The, all of this is his. We we just groups that are chosen to spread it, okay? To the, you know, over in this pond alone. But our cousins know about us as we once knew about them. So, like I said, you just need to get out your own box, okay? Tribes most high, my need you.